In this video, we're learning how to graph quadratics in intercept form. And if you look at the top of the screen, we are going to have intercept form, which is y equals a times the quantity of x minus p times the quantity of x minus q, where p and q are the x-intercepts. So intercept form shows us the x-intercepts of our quadratic, which is why it's called intercept form. So let's jump into example one and learn how to graph when our quadratics are written in this form. So what I like to do first is just actually plot the intercepts. So I'm going to plot the x-intercepts. So to plot the x-intercepts, I have to understand what p and q are. So p is going to be positive 1 because we have x minus 1, and q is going to be negative 3 because we have x plus 3. So you pretty much just switch the signs that are in front of those numbers in our parentheses. So those are going to be our x-intercepts. So I'm going to plot our x-intercepts of 1 and negative 3. And then now what we want to do is find our vertex. And what we have to understand is that the vertex is going to be right in the middle of our two x-intercepts. So sometimes you can just do it visually. You may be able to tell visually that negative 1 is right in the middle of negative 3 and 1. So our Axis of symmetry is going to be at negative 1, which means the x-coordinate of our vertex is at negative 1. But I will show you guys how to do it algebraically in case you don't want to do it visually. So to find the x-coordinate of the vertex in intercept form, we're going to take the sum of p and q and divide it by 2. So we're basically taking the average of our x-intercepts. That's going to give us the middle. So we're going to do our p-value of 1 plus our q-value of negative 3 divided by 2, 1 plus 3, or sorry, 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2, divided by 2 is going to give us an x-coordinate of a vertex of negative 1, sorry, x-coordinate of vertex. And now we want to find the y-coordinate by just plugging the x-coordinate back into our original quadratic and solving for y. So we're going to plug in negative 1 for x, so we'll have negative 1 minus 1 times negative 1 plus 3. We're going to simplify this. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. And negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. So our vertex is the point negative 1 comma negative 4. And now we're going to go ahead and plot that. So negative 1, negative 4 is right here. And now some teachers will let you just plot these three points. But in case you need five points, we're just going to find one more point and then reflect it across the axis of symmetry. So step three will be find one more point. So to find an additional point, we're just going to plug in some x value into our original equation. So I'm just going to plug in x equals 0 because that's an easy number to plug in. So I'm going to have y equals 0 minus 1 times 0 plus 3. I'm going to simplify this. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 0 plus 3 is 3. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. So I have the point 0 comma negative 3. And I'm going to go ahead and plot that right here, and then we just want to reflect that across the axis of symmetry to also have the point negative 2 comma negative 3, and then we will just draw in our parabola like this. Let's go through one more example. So for this last example, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try it on your own, and then you can watch me work through it to make sure you've done it correctly. So we have the quadratic y equals negative 2 times the quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x plus 2. So what I'm going to do first is plot our intercepts. So I'm going to write plot x-intercepts. And first we have to understand what our p and our q values are. So our p value is negative 4 and our q value is negative 2. So those are our x-intercepts. So we're going to have an x-intercept of negative 4 and negative 2. And remember, our vertex and our axis of symmetry are right in the middle of those two x-intercepts. So our axis of symmetry will be right here. But I will show you guys how to find this algebraically as well. So step 2 is going to be find the vertex. 
And remember, to find the x coordinate of the vertex, we can do p plus q over 2, or find the average of p and q. So we're going to have negative 4 plus negative 2 over 2. Negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6 over 2, which gives us negative 3. So that is the x coordinate of our vertex. And now to find the y coordinate, we are going to plug that back into our equation for x. So we're going to have y equals negative 2 times negative 3 plus 4 times negative 3 plus 2. We're going to simplify this. So we have negative 2. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1, and negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. And if we multiply this, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, times negative 1 is positive 2. So we get that our vertex is the point negative 3 comma 2, so negative 3 comma 2. And now again, some teachers are fine with you stopping here, but I'm just going to show you guys how to find one more point. So I'm going to write find one more point. And you could plug in 0 for x because it's easy to plug in, but I'm pretty sure it'll make our um, point go off the graph. So I'm going to plug in x equals negative 1 because our graph is a little small. And I'm going to solve for y. So we're going to have y equals negative 2 times negative 1 plus 4 times negative 1 plus 2. Let's simplify. Negative 2. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. And negative 1 plus 2 is 1. And negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. So we get a y coordinate of negative 6. So we get the point negative 1 comma negative 6. So we're going to go ahead and plot that down here. And then we will mirror that across our axis of symmetry to get the point negative 5 comma negative 6. And then we just want to sketch a parabola through these points. So that is how we graph y equals negative 2 times the quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x plus 2. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to graph quadratics in intercept form. If you want some more practice with problems similar to these, check out the link in our description for a free practice worksheet.